Hey everyone, welcome to Throne of Eldraine Standard. It's an exciting day. Um, so this is literally the first deck I've built for this format, and I'm just going to jam it, uh, which is kind of bold because it's a crazy combo deck. So right now we're playing Orzhov Zeros. So there's 12 creatures in Standard that are X mana XX. So you can play them as random creatures. I probably should add more colors for Chamber Sentry, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> you can play them as 0 mana 0 zeros and trigger any cast creature effects, enters the battlefield effects, uh, dies effects. So right now I'm going with a pretty streamlined Orzhov version that only runs Cruel Celebrant and Midnight Reaper as payoffs. And then the key combo card is Forever Young. Whenever you draw this, you can stack every X card that you've seen in the game so far, whether you've drawn it naturally or you're including some like self-mill stuff like Ashiok or maybe Emery if you had blue. Uh, so you can stack up like three or eight zeros, however many, and then whichever combo piece you want to draw on top. And then you just chain them together, you draw some cards, you drain them, you know. So you could build this with blue light for Emery, like I said, which would let you like recast the Witch's Oven or any of the these two. Um, or you can just play Ashiok as self mill, or you can just like, you know, play a normal game of magic. If ever there's a deck where Mausoleum Secrets is useful, I think it's this one. It's Demonic Tutor for any of our three main combo pieces. Um, but we'll see. I'm obviously a combo deck's hard to build on day one. You still have to tweak the numbers here and there. Um, we might not need all 12 of these things because, you know, maybe like 9 to 11 is fine. Um, the other combo in here is the Witches of and Cauldron Familiar combo. Um, it basically does an enter the battlefield slash die trigger every turn for each Witches Oven you have. Um, I trim it down to 3 Cauldron Familiar because with the Ashiok, I think I'm more likely to see a higher quantity of Cauldron Familiar than draw Witches Oven. Um, but we'll see. Um, so I'm just going to try it and see what happens. Um, if you want more details on the deck itself, uh, you can check out the article on the website, blog.blackwoodsco.com. I'll put the link in the description. Um, so let's see how it goes. I'm excited about this archetype in general, but I'm curious to see if I can uh, get any wins going with uh, the day one build. <clears throat> okay, so we've got two X's. We've got Witches of it and Ashiok and Forever Young. Seems good to me. Um, Ashiok will hopefully find us like a good combo piece to draw with Forever Young. I don't know. <clears throat> the thing that is um, tricky to me is um, like if how, how many how big do you go on Forever Young? You know, like uh, ooh, which is Cottage. I'll start with the Temple, but I might have to play which is Cottage next turn. Um, I think I want to draw Cool Celebrant. Um, but any other card besides that, I would probably bottom because we're digging for Midnight Reaper. The Orsop version is really focused on Midnight Reaper because we don't have any other card draw. Our opponent is Fable Pathogen for Swamps. What is that? <clears throat> um, so, let's see here. I think I want to be able to play Ashaf next turn. So I'll just jam the Switches of him. Doesn't really do anything yet, but... Um, it could protect our um, key combo pieces from exile effects if those are a thing in this format. Um, but our opponent happens to be playing a graveyard strategy. It's nice that we have Ashiok in our core strategy. Uh, okay. So, more X's. This is the best X. Uh, we'll see if it's text is relevant. I'm just going to start milling myself. We have the Forever Young. Oh, and if I hit a Cauldron Familiar. Oh, Chamber Sentry doesn't quite do anything. Um, I could add all the random black shockwaves, but I don't think that's worth it. Um, so, Undergrowth is one so far. With Mausoleum Secrets, you only need two creatures for it to be very good and three for it to be anything you want. Okay, so this can mess with our artifacts and our creatures, which is pretty bad for us. Um... I'm sure I'm going to make a lot of play mistakes while for the answer. <clears throat> hmm. Well, let's see. So they can basically nullify a combo piece, which is pretty brutal. Or they can make 3-3. Three, three. Ah, this is a little awkward. As I expect many people will think is standard. Protection from multicolor. 
Oh yeah, that's a nice ability. Let's try that. Hopefully this doesn't blow up in our face. I want to play one as a 4-4 because our opponent is going to have easy 3-3s, three but, you know, the lands are in the graveyard. <clears throat> Token. Wow. I want to force him to use the food. That was weird. I mean, he, he basically traded a 3 3 for me having a food token. Which didn't make any sense. He could have had this. Four. Yeah, that was a misplay on my opponent's part. <sighs> okay, we did find a Midnight Reaper. But we're really stuck on mana. I want to be able to play Midnight Reaper and then cash it in on the same turn, you know. Um, too bad this is a sorcery. Perhaps I just want to draw the Midnight Reaper. Like, play the Forever Young just for Midnight Reaper. It's kind of a waste, but I might have to do that. Alternatively, I could just play a 3-3 Stone Coil. That doesn't seem that impressive. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna do this. It might be wrong, but I don't think I really need to draw more X's right now. I just need to, like, uh, establish some mana so I can go, like, Midnight Reaper plus do other stuff in one turn. Actually, yeah, with these Witches Ovens in play, if Ashiok ever finds one of those Cauldron Familiars, we're doing something. We're never killing this Ashiok in a million years. Hmm, yeah, I forgot about that. This is literally my first game of this format, so still getting used to the play patterns here. Like, maybe I should have played a random 1-1, one -one, but that wouldn't necessarily be that good. <clears throat> um, so what I can do now is... Oh, man. So brutal. But yeah, I think I'm going to play Midnight Reaper and cash in all these X's. Um, and that way if we draw Forever Young in the future, we're actually, we have stuff to do, and we're hopefully going to hit a land this turn. And if we find a Cauldron Familiar at all, ever, we're doing good stuff. Okay, more cool Celebrant. If I draw a land on this one, I could potentially play a Stone Closer for another 1-1, one -one. I'm not sure. Nope. Just cool Celebrant all day. Yeah, that card's annoyingly good, man. Um, okay. Well, they're giving us the business. But at least we drew a card off the Reaper itself. Alright, so... Just kind of man screwed. Like, if we had 5 mana right now, we would have been... It's cool. It's cool stuff, my friend. Yeah, we're just gonna die next turn, I think. Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, all right, let's try again. <clears throat> okay, so as expected, uh, Oko is pretty good. <laughs> we'll be playing Oko decks later today, but I want to start with a fun one. I think everyone's gonna hate Oko like they hated Teferi. It's in a couple weeks. I just want to prove, prove the concept of this deck by getting a win. <clears throat> I also, there's so many ways to try and build this deck. Like, obviously, the Abzan or the Esper stuff. Um, although the mana base for Esper is pretty ugly. Um, but also, like, reanimator type things. Like, um, let's see, we've got three lands, we've got some Reapers, so yeah. I think it could actually be pretty good. Um, like, uh, Gruesome Menagerie, whatever the thing that reanimates three things. Uh, we're gonna get turn two Oko, probably. That'll be annoying. Alright, so what are we looking for? Not planes. Just, uh... So 
So we're gonna go turn three Midnight Reaper and then hopefully turn four Reaper draw cards. And then we just need to find a cool solid right? And we're kind of going off. Um, yeah, so if they can't interact just this turn specifically, then we're gonna have a great turn next turn. Which seems pretty awesome. I wish we could play eight copies of Midnight Reaper. Which we sort of do with Forever Young and whatnot, and lots of interesting things, but. Come on, we'll just play a random creature. Don't play Oko. That would be sad. No! What did I just say? <coughs> oh, thank goodness. They just misplayed. Okay, so now we're gonna get to draw cards. That's cool. Draw. Theoretically, we could just like keep going, you know, like we're drawing two cards for zero mana each time. This is our, this already looks like it has potential. Even if the shell might change, just this kind of thing is pretty cool. Like I was lucky to draw two mana reapers, but I mean, there's a lot of effects that do this kind of thing. Holy crap. I just need to not kill myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, like next turn I can forever young. And if I ever find a cool celebrant, I think it's just game. Um, I'll probably play the Witches Oven this turn. And if I draw enough cards, I can discard uh, a Cauldron Familiar that I draw. I don't want to go too much lower on life. At this point, I don't really. Uh, I only want one Midnight Reaper in play, I think, not two. Man, what is called of familiar? I didn't try it last game or this game. I'm going through about half the deck. Should I try drawing one more time? I think it's worth it. I'm at six now, though. That's probably too low. I don't know. I, I, it's still figuring this deck out. Um, I guess fruit tokens can game lag, you know? It's just annoying that there's no, uh... Like... Connor familiar in the top 24 cards. Because then we would be able to gain a little bit of life, get value off of these. We only want one minute per play. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm actually happy they did that because I didn't want the extra card draw because I'm at six. I have to decide if I want to. Okay, okay. Do I want to get a food token right now? I think I might want to. I will draw a card. Um, I think I will do it. It's a little bit weird, right? Is that the right play? This is my grave dark. Bunch of zeros. I need to find Cruel Celebrant somehow. How am I gonna do that? I could mill myself and then cast it, but then I don't have enough mana to Forever Young for that turn. Uh, I'm gonna leave my 3 3 in play. Okay. We found Mausoleum Secrets. Uh, let's see here. So, I think I'm gonna Ashiok. So I'm basically, I'm going for a kill next turn. <clears throat> I'm gonna set myself up to, f to go Cruel Celebrant with mana available next turn. Uh, yeah, I don't mind that at all. Uh, I should have made a free token, but that's fine. Come on, Cauldron Fam. Four Chamber Sentries, you're a Cauldron Fam. Cool, cool, cool. So I can't attack the Oko because I'll just die soon. But <coughs> I'm definitely not se sequencing this right, but the potential seems pretty high. Um, I should have a food token in play, I just forgot. 
But then this would be tapped. Yeah, that, it's not going to matter on this turn cycle, but I, mean, I can see how it is. It's better to have the oven untapped. Yeah. So I'm going to have to trade if I don't die. I'm just like a little bit of mana short. Um, I, I have such a high chance of milling a cauldron familiar with this, which which would really help. Oh, that's annoying. It's flying. All right, I need to gain some life somehow. Can I get anything different? No, it has to be cool celebrant. I think I drew too many. If I just wasn't at six life, I'd be fine right now. Okay, let's start with this. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm a mana short. Well, actually, I don't have a six on tap mana. Oh, yeah, I do, which is cottage. Actually, yeah, so. Ah, it's just zeros and midnight reaper. If I had. Uh, okay. How do I do this? I could just mausoleum secrets for. Like I just need to survive another turn, right? Um, I gotta play the cruel celebrant. Um, and then I'll moss secrets for cauldron familiar. Sadly, because I didn't mill it in the top forty cards. That's what I get for cutting exactly one copy, right? Okay, so now I survive the Hydroid Crisis, I think. And then I can gain one more life. So what am I hoping to do next turn? I don't know. He's going to Oko my Cruel Celebrant. That helps me stay alive a little bit. Alright. We might be close to doing it. I don't know. There's a hard deck to build and a hard deck to play. I don't know why I chose to do this one first. <laughs> but I'm having fun. <clears throat> I mean, I think the, the raw power level is certainly there. It's just, it's just about finding the right configuration and learning to play patterns. Um, oh, it makes it a 5-5. Five, five. That's pretty cool. But a bad play in this particular case because I have an infinite ground blocker. I was more scared of a 2-2 two, two flyer than a random 5-5. Five, five. Um... Okay, so I'm going to stay at one life. Block. Sack this. Oh, I'm actually going to be at two life. Yeah, so I'm going to just go to one right now. So I'm going to have to combo now, most likely. Is there any reason to get Cauldron Familiar at their turn? I don't know. Alright, so I'm just going to ask you out so I have more information first. Okay, so there's another Cruel Celebrant. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So... Um, okay, so, oh boy, I have to sequence this right, because Forever Young, you should draw the card that you put on top, correct? Because then I can Witch's Cottage first if it doesn't work that way. Um, so first things first, I need to get this out. So that I have life to play with. Uh, then I can Midnight Reaper, one, two, three. Okay, I'm just going to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, do I want that one? I have almost all of them. 
already have a minute right there. Yeah, so this should be lethal if I do it right. Um, the first card in the order will become the top card. Oh my god, this is confusing! Why is it stuck? Just drag this one over, the rest don't matter. Top. Okay, I did it right. So now I can play the Midnight Reaper. I think I did it. Decline, play this thing, and then I stack. This worked perfectly, I think. Find out if I did it right in a second. Looks like it'll work. Yep, we get it. Sick. All right. <coughs> that was a good game. I agree. Cool. Proof of concept. We want a, a match or a game. I definitely sequenced some things a little suboptimally, um, but then again, so our, our opponent made some misplays. But yeah, this is really cool. If I had a common familiar in the top half of the deck, I would have had an easier time. But despite that, we managed to get there. Mausoleum sequence was very good. Um, although this deck is more mana hungry than I thought it would be. I mean that's probably just because they were interact they had the ability to oko our combo pieces. So they were able to interact with them for free. Um, but maybe against the less I've only played against Oko in these two games. Um, which may just be the format, but who knows? Alright. Let's try again. What I'm probably going to do is play like five or so games with each deck today. I have a lot of deck ideas. And then just upload the video and revisit the ones that look promising um, in the next couple days. Okay, we have some zeros, a witch's oven, a shock. So this is where like experience will kick in. I don't know if you're supposed to mulligan hand like this. It doesn't really do anything. Um, it has three lands and a good mix of spells, right? But it's missing Midnight Reaper and Cruel Celebrant. But it does potentially have the Witch's Oven combo, if I know Cauldron Familiar. I don't know. I, I think I would, like, I'm inclined to mulligan this hand, but for the purposes of learning, I want to see how a hand like this plays out. Because it has, like, the theory behind this deck is that you can play the, I don't I, maybe I should play Witch's Oven, whatever. You can play the X spells on curve whenever they're convenient. Like, I think I want a 2 2 now. But should it be Ugin's Conjurant? Or just go with Coil? Um. I think Conjurant. It doesn't. Well, it does that to Ugin's spell, I guess. Whatever, yeah. It's the worst X creature. Although, Chamber Sentry is currently stinted in this deck because I didn't bother to put in any colors in there. I should have played the Witches on turn one. That was a mistake. Um, I just put the Godless Shrine down without thinking. <coughs> okay, I think I'm just going to start milling and then they have to attack it if they want to deal with it. Which is not convenient for them. Like if they play Cavalcade, they don't think they can kill it. Okay, we have that combo. So that should be good against the ground creature type deck. Cavalcade is still scary and Shot of Spitfire would be scary, but. We'll get to that. I'm just gonna block. Uh, that seems good for me. <laughs> oh, I see. They just wanted that. Okay. Oh, they found a cow. Okay, that's scary. <clears throat> if I can draw a land, that'd be sweet. If I cannot, alright. 
Hey, we have two cauldron fans and two ovens, so we're just gonna do that. I do have to play one of these creatures as a one one, sadly. Okay. <clears throat> so next time we can draw a lot of cards with Midnight Reaper, and then we just have to find. We're gonna gain life off of these to a turn. And then if I ever find Quill Solver, we are doing things. Oh, it's scary. This deck's not great at pressuring Planeswalkers, but I think that's okay from a combo deck, you know? Tap the Ashrock. Does it still... Yeah. <coughs> so we can kill the Ashrock if he wants. No, he leaves it at one. Big one. I don't think I'm going to attack the Chandra through the first striker, so it's just on tap, I guess. Um. I think I'll just cash this in. Okay, we don't really need all those cultural fans, but whatevs. Um, I could trade this cell call to the front card, but I'd rather wait for more triggers. Either a second minute or a cruel solomon. Or just casting it as a blocker, but I don't think I need more blockers for me. I think it's more useful to have an extra food token. Potential. So currently we're breaking even. If they ever have a Shonda Spitfire, we're kind of scared. I, I definitely need to improve the... Oh, crap. Yeah, so what I was saying is like I need to improve the toolbox package. If we're a Mausoleum Secret deck, we can play like Silver Bullets. Like any black card that is good in some situations. We don't want too much because we're a combo deck. Okay, so uh, I see one right now. Well, there's no reason to put a damage on my Minari. I just I need to figure out, oh I can block the stone coil. I can block the Spitfire with Stone Coil, I guess that's something. It's not the best plan in the world, but it'll be a start. We are drawing a shitload of cards. So hopefully I'll have more four mana next turn instead of three. Oh, I gotta keep that in mind. If I mean I for myself, the Spitfire gets even bigger. Okay, if I sack a 4-4 four, four stone coil, well if I play a 4-4 four, four stone coil, it's less likely that he can kill it with like a Skewer the Critics. I don't even know what these guys are running these days. Shotgun's good in this deck. small things. So basically the Spitfire is lethal. Okay. Alright, so I could draw a shitload of cards. Um, but I think I need to play Spitfire. I mean, no, no, sorry. Stone Coil Serpent. Um, I'm developing my mana and drawing cards each turn. So possibly next turn I can kind of go off. So I'll just do this this turn. <clears throat> Alright. Maybe our opponent has not read Sun Coil and won't realize it has reach. Happened to me. Um, I'm a 
lot of other cars, you just don't notice that they have reach. Huh. Okay. I think we're dead. Lava coil. I didn't know they had found that car. But there wasn't anything we could do about that. So maybe having a stronger plan against stronger Spitfire is important. Because against this ground creature's crap, we're fine. It's just a Spitfire that's giving us a problem. It's gonna be lethal, right? We're gonna be at like 16, uh, two, one, two, three. Oh, that's pretty good in that deck. Um, yeah, I think we're just dead. Looks like a lot. 15, yeah, all right. I don't know if they always have lava coil, because that would have worked just fine if they didn't have lava coil. I'm sure there's some black card that's good for this scenario. I'm just gonna figure it out. But we're also, it's worth noting that we were just one turn away from crumbling, I think. So, you know, we lost to Mono Red, but we were close. We were in the mix. Alright, we successfully comboed off one out of three games, but also it's a learning experience. <coughs> combo pieces, no real way to mill ourselves, but it's a definite keep. Well, we don't necessarily need to mill ourselves, it's just we don't have, I think a zero is actually good in this spot, because we have everything else. <coughs> uh, we just need to find, we need to dig deeper and deeper, so that these, this free over here actually does more than one card. Um, I think I'm just going to get combo pieces down, so this way if we decide we want to midnight, Reaper plus Castle are zeros next turn, it actually drains them. <coughs> okay. Hopefully our opponent is light on interaction. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna cash in a zero because we have two forever guns. So all we need to do is find like one or two more of the zeros and then our deck is basically going off. Yeah, this is good stuff. Turn we win if they don't interact. I don't know for sure, but it looks like it to me. Like, in theory, we play the Forever Young to draw like four cards or whatever, and then we find our second land and play the other Forever Young. So we probably don't win next turn, but we drain them for a lot. Well, I guess we maintain our life total. <coughs> not too scared of that. Because I'm going to play the first Forever Young, but then I want the other one slash possibly two mana we have. Um, I can just play like Witch's Element if we find a... I could also just play the second Cruel Celebrant and then I'm gaining life. Is that worth doing? Maybe it is. Let's go for it. Because this way I'm just like pulling a little ahead on life. Two mana, draw four cards, gain a shitload of life. Oh, sorry for the language. <coughs> so, they're gonna be down to like 11 just based on the guaranteed action. And then next turn, I think we have it. But this way, we go up to like 19. Seven, four, yeah, I don't think we can die. I can even block if I have to. If they kill one of the combo pieces, we just free over again. But 
looks like our bond doesn't have interaction, so we should be fine. Seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sixteen. So I just take it. Um, yeah. Oh, maybe. Well, I could have blocked and then forever yawned. But it's like we're taking another card to you, which like if I find a second midnight reaper, it's definitely game over. Another. So, yeah, I have to look at this. It's too bad that we, we, we whipped on all of these draws. You know, after the first, after, but I mean, I don't really know what the odds of winning for him are. It seems decent enough, you know? But I would have liked to find another zero. We just need to find like one more creature on this. Did I know about that one or was it luck? Oh, maybe I should have considered which of that, which is ugly that one. Oh, crap. Well, we whiffed, but do I, do I have, like if he attacks, we win, right? Like if my creatures die, we win? I just have to block that. I don't know, it seems like we also get to sack and sack the food token. Oh, I could just attack. And then he has to block with either this or this, and then it kills it. Yeah, that's it, though, right? Hopefully I'm not missing something here. Looks like they killed me. Cool. Yeah, we pulled off a combo pretty quickly. Um, yeah. All right, two and two. And the losses were both learning experiences, as were the wins. I think this deck has some legs. I think I'm going to go ahead and play one or two more games with this deck, and then wrap up the video. Because there's a lot of decks to try today. But I would say we're one for one on interesting decks. <clears throat> it's it's exciting to me that Mausoleum Secrets is a real card. Because um, it's a card that I always thought had a ton of potential. It's Demonic Tutor. Um, but there's never been like a black-based combo deck in Standard. Okay, so we have like the business. We're just missing a third land. And we're a little scared to be on the draw. Ooh, green deck, okay. So I'll probably just celebrate turn two, and then if I miss on land, I'll just play against Conjure, maybe. Well, maybe not, because we have all these Midnight Reapers. We want to draw two cards. If we find three lands, oh man. Is it worth it to just cycle this? I think it is. Because I just need to hit third land drop. So I would have whiffed on a third land drop. We'll see if our... Uh, potentially good play pays off. Because if I hit, if I ever stick to Midnight Reapers, then all the zeros that become draw twos, and then we can probably win on turn f when we drop two Cruel Souls into the next turn. Ah, frustrating. But our opponent's not doing that much yet either. Trail of Crimes is a cool card, but it's very slow, which is what we're good against in theory. Just need to find more land, and then we're good to go. Ooh, that has haste. That stinks. But there's worse things. Taking four damage. Whatever. Okay, we will be able to do stuff next turn. So I'm just gonna get this cruel celebrant in play. Mm. There's better cards than Witch's Cottage right now. 
That's why we at least have a redundant celebrant if they can kill one. And worst comes to worst, we're gonna gain a little bit of life next turn. <coughs> I actually don't know if I want to um, play the zero next. Oh my goodness. Well, that's really bad. <laughs> I didn't expect to see much of this card, but probably it is good. Alright, so we're in trouble now because two of our close elements are exiled. Um, <coughs> it's not so relevant in random best of one games, but it's worth noting that if you're expecting cards like uh, that can exile all four copies of close element, then you can run copies of Corpse Knight, or at least one copy with the more flames because um, it doesn't gain you life though, which could be an issue. Well, the cry of the Carnarium was devastating, but we would have comboed, I feel like, really soon if that hadn't happened. Like, if he was just playing random, like, mid rangey green stuff. Wait, so they missed an attack or something. They definitely missed three damage. I don't think that would be game changing, but they definitely did. Um, I don't know if I have any way to not be dead right now, but I'm just gonna play stuff out. I mean, it stinks that we're not getting life right now. I'll just play Calling Familiar. Let's see if I can lift some out. <coughs> There's only two more of our cards that we're locking. Oh, I guess we could find Buffalo Leaves with this, too. Um, yeah, so if we had a Close Celebrant play this turn, we would have just been able to possibly draw our entire deck, like the Chamber Sentry would draw two cards, find them zero, blah blah blah, and at the very least we would have drawn enough cards and have some extra blockers in play. <coughs> so I'm definitely blocking a land with Cauldron Familiar, I might block Questing Beast with Midnight Reaper. Okay, well now I've drawn two cards, they forced me to, so... This is all for not. I can't find Cruel Celebrant and or Mother Forever Young. So if I block like this, I die. If I block like that, I die. Okay. <coughs> GG. Cry of the Carnarium in your aggressive deck worked out pretty well, apparently. I guess it's more mid range to the extreme. I mean, it looks solid, what they're doing. I don't know. Crusting Beast is a card that seems good to me, but it's really boring, in my opinion. Alright, so we went 2-3 and three with this deck, which is not a great result in terms of games, but it was a big ask to try to play a combo deck uh, as the first intro to the format, so I think it definitely has potential. Um, the games we lost were because of cards we didn't quite expect, um, our Shonda Spitfire opponent had Lava Coil for our 4-4, four four. and then we got wrecked by Cry of the Carnarium, um, but I think the deck has potential, I just need to figure out some better, like, bullets for, uh, like, black cards that can fit into the general combo strategy, but also be a little more interactive. But thanks for watching and check back soon for more videos.